part two of before I say anything shalom and hi I love saying shalom don't even ask me why <laughs> we all need loads and loads of shalom anyways so this is part two so I'm just going to read out everything that I have written here that the Lord has uh, told me and I just wrote down to get that book so this is the season of reliving your childhood and by childhood i mean ideal childhood like how childhood should be in god's eyes the lord wants to heal and restore your broken childhood he wants you to know him as a childhood best friend like how you are friends with your absolute diaper friend. Like imagine someone grew up with you. Like, uh, oh. like uh, imagine somebody who was born in the same time as you. Someone who grew up with you, who wore diapers with you. Something like that. Okay, some the closest possible friend. So, down here in India, we call it chaddi buddy. So, chaddi in the sense, panty or diaper or like, chaddi is chaddi. <laughs> you can check it out. Like how you were friends with your chaddi buddy. The same way, he wants lazy days spent on mango trees in the sun. We He wants to enjoy your little joys of rolling in the mud building sand castles or whatever it is or spending long hours in the tree house or going to the library or reading books whatever it is god wants to love your inner child and i speak of that child before the world got to it and cut it off from existence he is making this he is making this inner child whole. And do you know something? I know this will come as a surprise to many, but the bride of Christ first starts out as a child. So God is meeting us at our childhood because he is getting his bride ready. He is making his bride whole. There cannot be a marriage if the bride does not grow from the child state. Right? Nobody marries a child. No one does, except for extremely recessive, illiterate people in some parts of the world. Nobody, let alone God, will marry a child. He's going to help you grow into maturity. And that beautiful balance before stepping into a relationship as intimate as marriage. First comes childhood, then comes friendship. Then comes comradeship, then comes adolescence, then comes marriage, then comes everything else. So, he wants to share her childhood and be her first love. Even if her first love was mangoes, for example, my case, I loved mangoes. If somebody loved mangoes as much as I did, we would be best friends. But yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. God is calling you into the realm of security, peace and abundant childhood enjoyment. Have you heard of Neverland from Peter Pan? God is calling you into that spiritual Neverland in this season, especially in this August of uh, 2020, right after the world is recovering from a pandemic as horrible as COVID-19. The adults have just stretched and bent over backwards and broken. And God is now restoring that inner child who finally gets to breathe. The whole world took a break. Finally. God knows after how long. I heard 100 years. So <laughs> this is a perfect chance to restore your inner childhood. So, child of God, a person of God listening to this, this is a season where God is calling you into a place of security, 
peace and abundant child like love and joy he wants you to get to be so free he wants you to reach that place of intimacy with him where you are almost like an octopus on his face don't listen to old catholic nuns don't listen to preachers who inspire fear in you don't listen to them see when you were in kindergarten when you were in kindergarten let me give you an idea of this legalism and law consciousness is going to make you feel old like you are 100 years old even though you are just 80 but if you get to know the true god you will become a child you will become like a child it's only when you are like a child you can find the kingdom of god so god wants you to get so free so free that you know how free were you with your sibling you would kick him around you would like mix toothpaste in his whipped cream uh, for his pancakes you would do whatever you want right you wouldn't you wouldn't fear that your sibling would just uh, hand you over to the police and get you killed for like uh, farting on his face so god wants you to be that close to him he wants you to be like an octopus on his face this is exactly what i wrote down and i'm just reading it okay <laughs> he wants to show you that he delights in you and you know delight is the pinnacle of joy and enjoyment delight delight is the feeling you get when you indulge in something you love to the core it is beyond explanation delight is that feeling of ultimate pleasure ultimate joy and ultimate love together and god delights in you in your inner child which everybody said is weird by the way he delights in you he has a place for you so moving on he wants to share and show you how you have been holding his hand throughout your life even though you felt like most of your childhood was lonely and without any sunshine even though you feel as though there has been no sunshine and just rain and rain and rain throughout your childhood the lord wants to show you how it was him holding your hand he was with you he wants to tell that inner child no i never broke up with you no i never left you i was with you all along and this is not about uh, redeeming himself or like proving that there's no fault on his part this is more about love it's about telling you that hey you didn't leave me neither did i leave you vechil god the lord wants to show you that he's no stranger to you you're no stranger to god and he's definitely not a stranger to you and if you feel god is a stranger to you then this is your season he's coming for you not as a roaring lion about to devour devour you but as a fellow child friend who wants to just get to know you you know enjoy your childhood loves and feelings and like he's just going to be a chaddi buddy that he is no stranger to you that even though you did not know him so closely before even though you were unaware of him he was with you and you loved him it was him that you loved though you did not know that it was him everything you loved in your childhood was actually him this is the season where the lord is calling his children to ascend into this portal which is almost like peter pan inviting wendy to jump out the window and saying come on open that door let's go to neverland <laughs> he's not going to spirit you away by the way in case you are wondering but he's going to make you so joyful 
where you are already that you'll be surprised that your drab reality is suddenly looking like a rainbow and it's so colorful and it's so joyful this is a prophetic call where the lord is ushering his bride through doors never opened before for anybody if you are hearing this today then count yourself very 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 fortunate and special yes you are highly favored and you are full of grace because the lord is calling you today to enter into a door which was not open for anyone but we got a glimpse of it in peter pan you know you just get an idea of how it is right it is as exciting as that and you know what there's only one password and that is love once you enter to the door all you need to qualify for this call is love if are you seeking for love if you do then this is this is your call this is your passport every secret door has a passport every vault has a lock and the key to open this door the key to open this door and this lock is simply love and you know what god is no longer waiting for you to like feel worthy about yourself he has decided to pack his bags and come right down to where you are right into that place of unworthiness you know it's his love if you are desiring unconditional love or if you are conscious about the love of god or if you want to be close to him if you are desiring him count yourself in you have the key you're going to walk through this door all right to all who seek him he will be found for he longs to reveal himself to you he longs to reveal himself to you he longs you know what longing is like i bet you do he is longing to eat your sour mangoes with you now see mangoes are a big thing for people of the tropical region mangoes are an ambassador of childhood at least for me summer holidays equals mangoes all right and for me it's like god wants to eat your sour mangoes with you we really savor sour mangoes like as a child i used to i used to try and like steal mangoes and i used to like try and climb trees however unsuccessful as a child but there are so many beautiful memories around mangoes now for me it is mangoes for you it may be guavas or for you it may be watermelons or pumpkins whatever it is he is longing to take part in your childhood with you this you can treat this almost as a flashback the best childhood memory of your life he wants to share it with you you will live it again but you will live it conscious of him with you and i speak to all the people who feel like i wish my father was there for this recital i wish my mother was there for this performance i wish my sister was there for this tournament he is going to fill this void in your soul and an essential part of being his bride involves in being free joyful ecstatic and full of life that he wants to accomplish this assignment of making his bride ecstatic joyful free shameless and fearless by loving her inner child and that her is you my friend it is your soul this is from his heart to your heart it is from his inner child to your inner child peter pan is calling all you wendy's out there get ready this is for all of us this is for the entire body of christ now please listen to this message and feel free to pause and like stop it anywhere you like 
I intend this to be like a podcast, but I haven't reached the podcast level yet, so I'm just recording it for now. Someday, by the grace of God, we can have live conversations, like, you know, we can enjoy chatting up. For now, feel free to pause and just think and write down or download the transcript for this video, which I will provide it to you guys, by the way, in writing too. Because I know how it feels. You, people like me want to write down all important stuff and store it, laminate it. So I'm going to give you all the documents also, written documents, which you all can store. And um, yeah, you all can take a print out of it. You all can like distribute it, anything you want. It is ultimately the Lord's work. It's our father's business. And we are all joint heirs. And this is what we are called to do as his children. And there is no shame in this. Right? Right. And uh, I have also personally grown in the past few months. And I have come through a lot of stages. And do you know something? If you reach the stage where you are starting to become like a child again, I must tell you, you have reached a level of spiritual PhD, you can say. Because you're becoming a child again. And that's the entire idea of salvation, to make you as children. So we can enter the kingdom of heaven. And if we are the bride of Christ, we are going to live in heaven. Right? What does that mean? That means we'll be joyful and happy and like childlike forever. Youthful forever. So this is your ultimate call. Wendy is listening to this. And I am speaking to the human soul. The Lord is healing the painful memories of an absent father. He is wiping away those tears. He is showing himself strong on behalf of you. Beloved, listening to this. The Lord is showing you how precious you are to him. All the torture of the enemy throughout your life masked in the faces of your parents, relatives and other human beings and what not is going to fade away along with the enemy. We are entering into a place where Satan has no existence. So that is heaven. This is the season of retrieval. You can go check out what soul retrieval is, but this is the season where the Lord is retrieving your fragmented soul. The season of retrieval, reclamation and reconciliation. The war is over and the Lord is gently removing the shields of fear from around your heart and healing the wounds, wounds that hide behind these shields. This is directed mainly towards people and children and men and women who have been victims of absent fathers, absent fathers, abusive parents directed towards orphans or pe children who lost their parents at a very young age, towards children who grew up in broken homes, foster care children, abused victims, to people who have been termed as survivalists, to the rejected lot of the society whom people deem as unworthy or not honorable, to pained and depressed souls not knowing the reason for their sorrow. This is the call we've all been waiting for. This is your ultimate call to wholeness. This is what you need. This is what you need more than the next cigarette. This is what you need. Get ready for an adventure of a lifetime because this is all about you to the Lord. There is a verse that he gave me after this. It's this verse that reads, I have inscribed you on the palm of my hands. Look, your walls are ever before me. I can never forget you. The Lord is saying that your records and destroyers are running away from you, child of God listening to this. 
the people and the things that have destroyed you are leaving you forever daughters rape victims sexual abuse victims women who have been hurt violence victims souls with shattered dreams this is for you this is for you your god your true true love yes your true love even what you have been seeking in new age concepts like twin flames is just this and do you know the divine love that you have been seeking in all the wrong places is seeking you now your god is answering your desire to be loved known and his blessing is beyond what you expected even if you are a victim of this whole twin flames concept i am here to tell you there is a god who wants to recompense you for all the pain that you are going through or you have gone through in your search for love he says in his word very clearly i am going to call you back as if you were you were a wife who was rejected very young as if you were a wife who married you very young only to be rejected a wife who is deeply distressed in spirit and distraught he wants to love you child of god he wants to love you i want to love them like how they lo- belong to be loved in their deepest corner of their heart he is a sensitive god he is delicate he is tender look at the flowers do you think somebody like thor can fashion flowers that delicate i'm just saying your god understands your delicate innermost parts because he fashioned it i want to be your their trusted beer buddy this is exactly what he told me and i wrote it down okay which is bear with me he wants to be your beer buddy so call them in to me let the king draw me into his chambers there is this beautiful verse that he gave me after i wrote all of this this is the season where your unfulfilled desires are going to be fulfilled by an all sufficient god the dreams that your child self dreamed and hoped for and looked up to he will accomplish and he will give you more dreams he will show you that the possibilities are endless and he's going to ensure that the dice always rolls in your favor this is that season child of god this is that season god is claiming reclaiming your childhood from pain death destruction turmoil abuse and broken heartedness winter is over the time of singing has come this is the season we are in i will speak to her tenderly <laughs> i will draw her into the wilderness and gently speak to her with much tenderness this is what is happening beautiful child of god listening to this the lord wants to do away with every drop of negative self worth unworthiness self, loss of self esteem fear of rejection and loneliness he wants to make you whole no need to run around searching for shamans to like help you out no need to run around searching for your twin flame anymore because what you have truly been seeking in all of these is seeking you today and is calling you home he is going to fill that vacuum in your soul with so much love that there can be no room for sorrow this is his promise to you child of god that you will go out dancing with your timbrels with your drums once again you will dance for joy a delicate and sensitive bridegroom for a delicate and sensitive bride this is exactly what i have written after i asked the lord to reveal what he has on his heart and this is his personal letter to you he says I am filled with zeal for your restoration. I am filled with zeal for you. 
I will not rest until your justice is manifested. I will not rest until your enemy is silenced. I will not rest until your joy is restored. I will not rest until your smile is glorious and your heart free of fear. I am zealous for you. You are my main priority. Said who? Said the God who makes the rain come down in its appropriate seasons. Said the God who drew the shoreline for the sea. Says the God who ensures that birds and every animal on the face of the earth is fed every day. I know it's hard to believe, but let me prove it to you with what you see even physically. This is what the Lord is saying. This is not an empty promise that it will go away with these words. This is a word from the living God that is going to take root in your life and sprout into a physical tree which will give you fruits. You will see and you will know the Lord as Yehovah Rapha or Yahweh Rofeka or the Lord who heals. The Lord our healer is what the season is going to show us. I will heal them of their wounds, is what he says to us. I am going to give you all these verses in the document which I will be attaching in the description. Feel free to distribute it to how many other people you will want to because it is God's word for the entire entirety of the earth. He is looking for people who seek him. He is looking for people who need him. This is the season of healing. If you want a trailer of what is going to happen, you can maybe try and watch Malgudi Days or Narnia or the Nutcracker, the Four Realms or the Nutcracker in general or Peter Pan is a perfect example. I asked the Lord to give me examples of how do I... You know, I'll be lying if I say this. Actually... Even these examples he gave me to tell you. You can watch these things to get a feel of how he will restore your childhood. Studio Ghibli is also a great place to go. You can check out their movies. I will suggest some things to watch. All right. The Lord is making garments of light. The Lord is making garments of light and righteousness for you. To cover your nakedness. Do you know what that nakedness is? That nakedness is a guilty conscience. A fallen guilty conscience. The Lord is making garments for you. So you will never be ashamed ever again. You will be immune to every sort of jeering or mockery. You will not fear that you lack in anything anymore. If you just hear his call and step out into this beautiful season with him, by the time this season is over, child of God, you will be so immune to mockery, you will almost be like a rock in the face of bullies. Your bullies are going to despair because they are unable to bully you. That's how perfect and whole he's making you. This is your own garden of Eden where he is your favorite apple tree and you love to sit in his shade and relax and rest against him. And this tree is not the tree of right and wrong or the tree of knowledge. This is the tree of life. Are you hearing me? Yes. So that is exactly what is on the Lord's heart for you, for me and all of us. I truly hope and pray that these words take deep root in your soul and hold fast to you and that they shall never be uprooted by the evil one, that no amount of thorns can thwart its growth, that this these words will be the seeds for an oak tree that will just overcome all obstacles and grow, that will be a plantation of the Lord. God is with you, child of God, listening to this. I speak peace over your life. I speak joy. I speak wholeness. And I speak the immense peace of Jesus Christ, which we have received as his children. I speak clearing of the guilt in your conscience. 
I speak the sprinkling of the blood of the Lamb over your conscience, even as you hear me. I speak his love into your soul. I command every demonic and evil spirit tormenting you to leave and be bound in Jesus Christ's name. May you be at peace as the Lord wants you to be at peace. Shalom and bye-bye for now. See you soon.